It's that time again. Sniffles, sneezes, and dire warnings for allergy season. This year's headlines blame the long, cold, wet winter, the polar vortex, for a potential pollen vortex, saying 2014 could be one of the worst seasons yet. Nice birch pollen. But the self-proclaimed pollen king and his allergist boss don't put stock in those predictions. There's really no scientific way of predicting how bad a season is going to be until it happens. Dr. David Golden and David Kirkston, the only certified pollen counter in Maryland among a nationwide network of them, say it's a bad season only if the pollen says so. I've been doing this for 18 years, every single day, holidays, weekends, for from March to the end of October. Each morning on the office roof, Kirkston swaps out small sticky rods from the bottom of this machine. It periodically spins the rods over 24 hours, collecting whatever's in the air. With some pink stain in a slide, the rods are examined so each individual pollen grain can be counted. I am seeing some maple, cedar, and elm. The verdict so far? What they're uh, saying about the polar vortex and the very cold winter that we had this year is that things would come in late and everything would happen at once, so it would be particularly bad. Um, that's actually not what happened. The Baltimore area saw high pollen counts earlier than usual in April because of a freak warm spell. They've been up and down since. It's a little overwhelming. In Atlanta, which had a crippling ice storm this year, the average April count so far is lower than last year's. Golden says day-to-day -day weather affects the pollen count much more than the preceding winter weather. If it's cold or rainy, less pollen. Warm and windy, more pollen. I tried to predict it day after day and it never worked. So the pollen king himself counts on the pollen count. Cindy Sharp, Associated Press.